feel right now. Yeah, that's hot, guys. Hello, is anyone here? Oh, I guess I should pull up the comments to find out. I'm really smart. Our dishwasher is running. I hope it's not too annoying. Let me know if it is, and I'll move locations. Hey, Shauna. <clears throat> How are you, Shauna? Are you ready for Christmas? Hi, J-Dot. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Jennifer. Oh, I'm just losing my mind. It's fine. Other than that, I'm great. It's great. I'm just like so good. I've never been happier or healthier. I've never felt better in my life, so. Sorry I didn't go live yesterday. Yesterday was one of the worst days I've had probably all year. Yesterday was a rough day, emotionally, mentally, um, and physically actually, but more so emotionally, mentally, but also physically, but also all the leaves of the, of the leaves of the times. So, hi Paul, you like this? So, thanks Jennifer, you're so sweet. Do you go by Jennifer or Jenny or Jen? Where do you go by Jennifer? I wanna to get to know you too. I think I'm just gonna go live forever now on YouTube. Should I just go live now only so I can get to know you guys better? I mean, that would be pretty cool. I do love making videos though, and I love editing. Just right now I don't, but yeah, that's it. That's fun. Thank you, I know. I look amazing, yes, we all know this. Thanks, Natalie, you too. I go by Jen and Jennifer, okay. Good to know. I guess I'll just call you whatever comes to me first. Maybe it'll change every time. Maybe it'll go like back and forth, you know what I mean? Like, hey, Jennifer, hey, Jen, hey, Jennifer, hey, Ifer. <gasps> Danny has a friend named Ifer. She, her name's Jennifer, and she goes by Ifer, and I've never heard that before. Isn't that so funny? I love it. It's so cute. She's the cutest. I wonder if she's watching. She might be. What up, Ifer? Ifer is um, one of the costume designers that Danny works with a lot on set. So, I mean, I feel like this is like could be the next, you know, like red carpet or like, <clears throat> what's the word, um, Coachella or like Victoria's Secret fashion show. Like they really should try these hairstyles because I think that this is the next big thing, guys. Just watch. This is the next big thing is to make it look like you have a rat's nest or a bird's nest hanging off of your head. You worked with Ifer today? You're so lucky. I love her. Do you work with her again tomorrow? Tell her hi if you do. Tell her I said hi. Thanks, Chapstick Addict. I love that I have friends call me fur. Oh, that's cute. I love that. I've never heard that either. And I've known so many Jennifers in my life. It's unreal. I can think of at least... 10, maybe 12 that I've known. I know a lot of Jennifers and I've never heard Ifer or Fur until now. Fur is now and Ifer a year ago is the first time I heard that. So anyway, um, so I don't know how long I'll be because, so here's the thing. I don't know how to talk about this, but I'm going to try because I feel that it's like it's not like I owe it to anybody, but like, I feel like I do because you guys are my family and you guys support. I'm gonna take these off and it's really scary. My face is really scary right now. So trigger warning for anyone who doesn't want to see a super pale, swollen eyed from crying all day yesterday, um, dry, not great face, okay? Trigger warning, it's, it's happening. Anyway, um, oh, she used her sweet long fingernails scratching my head. 
Didn't I do that to you on Halloween too? I thought that was our thing, Paul. Um, you're gonna need three good things for what? What did I say? The truth? That wasn't an insult. I wasn't insulting myself. For those that don't know, we have a rule in this community. If you insult yourself, you have to say three nice things about yourself after. But I didn't insult myself. I just stated the truth. Today I'm very pale and my eyes are very swollen from crying. So, but I do have a big heart and I have a beautiful hair and I have, I'm good at decorating trees. Okay, there you go. Um, Paul, I have a question for you. Paul, are you listening? This is serious. Is Ifer your third wife? If she is, I'm actually okay with that. She's great. Look at my face. Wow, look at my... <laughs> so awesome. Yesterday was bad. Yeah, I... Uh... By the way, I don't think, Paul, I don't think we're going to do our Walmart thing this year, are we? It's just been such a weird year. It doesn't even feel like Christmas time. And everyone, it feels like everyone is struggling and things are changing and things are very stressful right now with, with me anyway, personally, family-wise, health-wise. Um, and I just, it's just been, it's just, I guess it fits, you know, to be the, right kind of ending for the type of year that we've had. So, yes, you are what? Are we still doing Walmart? What are you talking about? Does anyone even want us to? I've gotten like maybe two or three requests being like, when are you gonna do your annual Paul and Shani go to Walmart? Because we love doing it, it's fun. But this year has been weird though. She's a bit too old. She's my second mom, if anything. How old is she? No, she can be your third wife. I like her. Love has no discriminatoriness about ages. Did that make sense what I just tried to say? To love can show ages. I want some fish. I'm craving fish. And I also have this snot bubble in my throat. So I haven't talked about what happened yet, Ruby. I'm getting there. Um, I gotta get a snap up. Can I mute you? Didn't we figure out this last night? Cause you don't want to hear me hawk this up. It's not pretty. Okay, I'm going to mute you and go do this off camera. I'll be right back. Be grateful that I muted that for you. You are welcome. That was not pretty. Thanks, Jen. See, you're Jen that time. Anyway. Um, nah, no. Let's just not do it this year, Paul. It's fun and I wish we could, but maybe we'll just do it another time. I guess it doesn't have to be a Christmas thing. I don't know. Maybe when we're both more available and feeling better and all the things. <laughs> maybe we'll do a Danny and Paul go to Walmart, maybe for like a fun Friday or something. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you. The only way we could get him to stand him up was to stick a stick up his butt. So that's how he's standing. You can see the pictures on my Instagram. It's great. Um, Thanks guys. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of this tree. It turned out really cool. Very, very, very Whoville-esque. Very Who. 
Doesn't that look like Whoville? Like the tackiest, boingy decor and weirdness and very Grinch, very Grinch. Funny story, when I was a kid, my dad and I were at Blockbuster in line, okay? You must be around my age, that's great to know. He's such a tree thief, I know. Yeah, that's what he gets, Caitlin. Poor Grinch, that's what he gets for trying to steal my tree. Never mind, I take that back. Wait, that, that was like dark, I shouldn't have said that. Wait, is that dark? I was joking and I didn't mean like he deserves a stick up his butt, but. Well, he's not real, it's a stuffed animal. But if he was real, that would be awful to say that he deserves a stick up his butt. So we're just gonna move on from that comment and forget that I said that because I'm a jerk, so. And I need a drink really badly. And I also need to close that door because it's getting cold. It was really hot, so. I mean, he kind of has a butt. Look, it's right there, kind of. He's got a little bit of a butt. So, um, do you take care of vitamins? No, I don't. I probably should, but I don't. No. What kind of things do you do to pie? What are you talking about? Oh, to pull yourself out of a dark place. I'm like, what? What kind of things do I do to pie? To pull myself out of a dark place, I watch YouTube videos that cheer me up, that make me happy. So I don't watch YouTube videos like my videos. Those don't cheer me up, those don't make me happy. Um, I prefer watching funny or family, good, clean, fun, or comedy, or mostly just anything Ballinger related cheers me up. Um, okay, wait, where was the rest of that story? Where, wasn't someone telling a story? Who was it? Let me go back. Hold on. Chapstick addict was. Okay, funny story. When I was a kid, my dad and I were at Blockbuster in line. The lollipop was an action figure. That's your story? What does that mean? What are you talking about? Oh, dear. Oh, animal videos are great, too. So are baby videos, like funny baby videos, but that also kind of makes me sad, so. Mm, I just like watching funny things. You know? That's why I try to throw some humor into my channel, because like that's what helps me. But at the same time, you know, it gets hard sometimes, because I post a video being like, oh, this is negative, this sucks, and like tons of people watch, and then I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is such a fun video, and like three people will watch, so. But that's okay, not everybody is like me. I guess I just need to come to accept that, like, cause like for me, I'm like, why aren't these people watching the fun ones too? Like those are the ones that bring me out of dark places and, and help me to feel better and get lost in someone else's world in a fun way. But not everyone's like that, and that's okay, so. You win some, you lose some. That's life, I'm just gonna keep being me. Whatever you wanna watch or not watch, that's okay. I'm just glad you're here, whenever you are here. I've been thinking a lot about Twitch. It's crazy to me how much this has affected so many people. It's, it's crazy to me because when I found out, I literally screamed and I was like, no, and I cried. <laughs> I don't even know this guy, never met him before. 
like I adore him and I always have he's one of my top five celebrity crushes and I just like adore him as a person I think he's a really great person and since he died I'm seeing oh my gosh the amount of um outpouring of um love but also like grief from people in my real world like people I went to school with people from my church people from my family like all these people that I didn't even know they were touched by him too and it's become such a big national story now that like it's crazy how many people are affected by this it's so weird um we're talking about twitch who who took his life um because he was like the and like every single celebrity interview that i've watched about him is like you really never know because we never even got a, a hint of anything like that like nobody everybody who knew him was like this is a, a fat million percent shock like this is what like what you know i don't know why it's affecting me so much but it's not just me it's everyone there's so many people in the world that are so affected like this shauna just said she it really messed with me. Yeah, me too. I don't know why. It's still messing with me. Um, I don't know. But I do gotta be careful, you know, and so do you guys. If anyone out there is suicidal or has suicidal thoughts or whatever, first of all, please call the helpline uh, or text you can text as well I've done it so many times and they're the nicest people and they don't make fun of you and they don't make you feel stupid they validate your feelings and they help you through it and they remind you why you need to stay and they remind you why this is don't make a permanent decision on a temporary feeling and all that stuff like it's wonderful so please reach out for help if you are feeling that way um but what was I saying anyone remember what I was seeing? Crap. Um, mm. We gotta be careful, those of us who are, have suicidal thoughts or, um, ideolation or plans or whatever, just be really careful watching it, um, because you know, I don't even have to explain it to you guys, but you know what that can do to people like us. So just be careful, make sure that you're safe and make sure that you're not watching it. I don't know, I have a theory that so many people are affected because, because they themselves have felt this way and I like, maybe I should speak for myself. I think it's affecting me the most because I have felt this way for so long and I survived um, a suicide attempt in February of this year. And maybe it's the fact that, you know, he's around my age and it just seemed like nothing was, like it just kind of fascinated me maybe. And also was like, wait, how did this happen? And how come he couldn't stay and fight? And how come I stayed? Um, and like, I wish he could have experienced what I did, as horrible as that sounds. I wish that his suicide didn't work like mine. I wish that he survived it. And because Sorry, trigger warning for all of this. I'm so sorry. Um, time for the glasses, because I might cry. <laughs> um, It's really hard to talk about my suicide attempt uh, just because I did try talking about it. I made a whole video about it and um, rightfully so, I was, there's no right way to talk about it in a video, my attempt. And 
because if I talked about, you know, the part where, no, see, I'm not going to talk about it again because it really upset a few people and I didn't mean to do that. I just was sharing my story and part of my story, you know, kind of triggered others and I meant it to do the opposite. Um, but I got to find a way to talk about these things more in a way that can not make us feel so ashamed and alone and like we have no other option like there's got to be a way we can talk about this without triggering people too much you know what I mean and it's like maybe we just need to maybe this is one of those things that's just sucks that you might get triggered talking about it but talking about it is important you know because if you don't talk about it that's when, it, that's when you go really dark and that's when you feel the most alone and that's when you give up because you're alone. You haven't told anyone about it and you're not talking about it and so it's easier to do it because no one is there to stop you because they don't know. Like, people need to be talking about this, talking about these feelings as much as they can and my story involved a part of it was should I just like say the parts that like I, I get it though that's why I took my video down because I the last thing I want to do is trigger anyone I was trying to like just share my experience but I can see how that would trigger some people and also um I think the thing that upset people the most and I guess trigger warning for if you've lost a loved one to suicide because um Maybe I should, I don't know. Um, uh, Twitch did, Ruby. Twitch, he was on So You Think You Can Dance and then he became Ellen's DJ for a really long time. He actually married a girl from Utah. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, I said, and I shouldn't have said this, and I'll probably never say it again. So this isn't me saying it again. I'm just saying what I did say back then, which was, I said that I know for a fact because of my experience, and I shouldn't have said everyone was like this, but because of my experience, I was like, I know for a fact that anybody who attempts suicide regrets it halfway through, like every single person. If you jump, jump off a bridge, you regret it halfway down. If you do other things that I'm not going to say, you regret it halfway through. Um, and that really upset a lot of people who have lost someone to suicide because it's like, oh my gosh, so my loved one regretted it and they could have stayed and they wish they could have still been here. Like that makes it even harder, you know? So I totally understand that. So I'm forever sorry that I said that. I did not mean it that way. I just, I kind of meant it more in a way of like, please don't even attempt because trust me, you're gonna regret it. And I sure did. Um, the feeling that I got as I was crossing over was a feeling that I can't explain as a human being. Way beyond scary, way beyond uncomfortable, way beyond um, anything that I'm able to describe, you know? Um, yeah, I am here for a reason. Thank you. And so are you guys. And maybe that's why I've been so frustrated because I'm like, he was here for a reason too. All people that do. I mean, when my little sister killed herself, um, I know that she was in a place of, um, she had attempted, I think, 23 times throughout her life, I think. Um, and she was at a place, in a place when she died, apparently, I wasn't close to her when she died. She was my stepsister. I wasn't super close with her when she died. Um, but I was with her mom and her mom told me a lot about it. And by the way, her mom died on, when Ashley passed away, 
um, exactly two years to the day that she took her life, her mom died from a broken heart. Um, like on her two year death anniversary. And that was another thing that's, that affected my attempt and my thoughts is I was able to, I haven't talked about this in a while, but when she killed herself, Okay, yeah, I'm gonna tell this story again real quick. Um, from my point of view, because it was crazy what happened. Um, so I had decided that I was gonna kill myself a certain way, and this was years ago. This was like, I don't know. When did she die? Gosh, like 14, 15 years ago maybe? So it was a long, long time ago. And I decided that I was gonna kill myself and um, um, I won't say my method Ruby I won't be giving any like methods things that I tried and stuff just because I don't want to put more ideas in people's head I don't want um, I know it's kind of confusing because I have said before that I had the choice to stop it when I did I know that's confusing but I feel like if I tell you like details, it would be too dangerous and too inappropriate. But anyway, so I had decided to do that a certain way and I was gonna wait until Danny went to work that morning. And then that morning, right before he even woke up for work, I got a phone call that Ashley had taken her life and that she had done it in the exact way that I was planning. And so obviously I didn't do it and then is it really choppy? My phone looks like it's choppy. Is it choppy? I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, there's no reason to share the methods. I love you though, Ruby. Totally understand that you're curious, but, but yeah, there's a good reason that we don't share methods. Um, anyway, uh, so I didn't end up doing it and then I went to her funeral And seeing the look on her mother's face was enough to just make me be like, nope, never again. No, I could never hurt my mother like that. No, like just seeing the look on my stepmom's face was enough for me to be like, no, never, never again. No, I can't do that to my mom, blah, blah, blah. So two years later, I got suicidal again and I, Plan to do it again and it was the same plan and it was the same way I had planned to do it when Danny went to work and after um, we were living with my parents when this happened um, after he went to work and after I knew my mom wouldn't be home I think she was out of town and that my stepdad was at work that was when I planned to do it and uh, and then again that morning got another call that my stepmom had died from a broken heart and it just kind of reminded me again. So in a way, their deaths actually saved my life twice. But never up until this time, back in February of this year, ever since that attempt, I have absolute, there is no way on earth whatsoever that I can ever attempt again. I won't do it. Because I had never experienced getting that far into it and that feeling that again, like I can't really explain because I'm a human and it's a beyond human feeling that's the scariest. I don't even know the word. There's no word for it because we're humans. Um, anyway, and ever since then, every time I have a suicidal thought, I always think to myself, nope, 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 it's not worth it because that's how traumatizing it was. So like I wanted, that's why I wanted to share that with you guys. That's why I shared my story because I wanted people to know that it, it scared the shit out of me. It scared me shitless for the rest of my life and um, I'll never attempt again, ever. But I still have the thoughts, which sucks. And it's annoying when you have the thoughts and you've had this thing that you've relied on your whole life where you're like, okay, well, 
if things get that bad, then I'll just, you know what I mean? And now that's not an option for me anymore. So I think that's why this year has been so hard because I've had to relearn how to, you know, deal with life and the hard parts in life without suicide being an option. Um, but I still get the thoughts all the time. I've had that my whole life. A lot of you guys have too. It's just comes with the chemicalness of chemical depression. Um, and then some of you are like me where you also have circumstantial depression. Some of you have seasonal depression. I have all the kinds, um, chemical, seasonal, you know, circumstantial, everything. Anyway, why was I telling this? What was I gonna say? Oh, but another part of my story was like a beautiful part of the story. And that made people be like, okay, you're making me wanna die more now. Cause I was trying to describe what I did see, the only good thing that I did see, because I believe that it was heaven that I saw. And that feeling was also a not human feeling that was better than any feeling I've ever had as a human being. It was amazing. It was better than an orgasm. It was better than, I don't know what else to compare it to, but it was just the most beautiful feeling and it looked absolutely beautiful. And that made people be like, oh, well then now I want to do it more. But, but, um, but the thing is, is that when God was talking to me, He's, he kept saying, it's not time for this yet. And if you do it right now, this way, you're not going there. Yeah, that beauty is out there and that beauty is available for you later. But right now, if you continue to do this, you don't get that. You get to go to the other place where you're feeling that inhumane feeling that I can't describe that's negative. Um, but I can see how that would, you know what I mean? So, yeah. So I think that's why it's it's really hard to talk about, but at the same time, it's like, what if more of us were able to share our stories with, without, and hope that people can just look at it as more of like a warning or a tool, I guess, that they could think of that could help them in those moments. You know what I mean? Because um, yesterday, yesterday, I had a really big moment like that. And obviously I didn't attempt, that's not an option for me anymore. But the thoughts were there all day, had a very severe mental breakdown um, and physically as well. So it was really bad. And so that's kind of been on my mind since yesterday. And just wanted to share that, but yeah. So maybe someday I'll figure out a better way to share my story in a way that it's just so hard to navigate that and decide you know, let me sneeze. Not everyone can see that far outside themselves. Yeah. I just pictured my family grieving over my death and I couldn't do that to them. Yeah. That, that was always what stopped me too. But this year with this attempt, um, I'll say this, this whole live stream is a trigger warning. I'll be sure and put that in the title after this. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, usually uh, I think of Danny, my mom, my nieces and nephews, and then all of you guys, and my family, of course, but Danny and my mom are the two biggest ones that I think of first because it would kill my mom. She would not survive it. Um, and when I attempted this time, I didn't have anything. I didn't have any like, oh my gosh, this would kill my nieces and nephews. I'm everybody's favorite aunt. They're like my kids too. Um, people out there that watch me that are suicidal, like, I don't know, I just got to this place where I just didn't care. And the only thoughts in my mind were, how can I make this less traumatic, the least traumatic possible for Danny to find me and the least trauma to my body for my mom to dress me for my casket. And those were the only thoughts I had in my mind. That was it. It was just, how do I make it look the least traumatizing for Danny to find me? And then how do I, 
be careful with my body to make sure that my mom isn't just like blatantly, it's like staring her in the face how I did it. It's scary to get to that kind of place and No, not another one. I'm talking about the one back in February. 2-22-22 is when it was. Um, I'm so grateful that I'm here. I'm so grateful. And I'm grateful for the experience I had. I am. I'm grateful that I got a little bit of a taste of if you're going to go against God or if you don't believe in God, if you're going to go against just whatever existence you believe in, you know, I don't know. I just feel like, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't think about people I know that have killed themselves and be like, well, they're miserable and they're probably in this place or they're probably feeling this way. Like, I don't know. But I, all I can say is that the feelings that I got were enough to be like, especially the good part. The good part I think is, the most important part for me personally was getting a tiny little taste of that good part and how I, if I chose to live my life the way that it's meant to be lived and not take power over taking my own life and let myself pass however I'm supposed to pass rather than me taking over the decision of fate, God, the earth, whatever you believe in, then it'll be worth it type thing. I pray for my death all the time and still it hasn't happened. That's what makes me believe I'm here for a reason and I don't attempt anymore, but it's so hard still having the thoughts. I agree so hard, Shauna. really sucks when you still have the thoughts, even though you're like, well, that's not an option for me anymore, but I still have the thoughts, so that's really fun. You can just write off. Look at me censoring. Did you see that? That's in case my mom's watching. You're welcome, mom. Love you. Oh, I hope she's not watching, actually. No, she knows that. I've told her that. Anyway, um, I'm very grateful I'm here, too. Thank you for saying that. I'm grateful. I really am. I know life is hard, and I know that I don't know, and this has been, and it seemed like the, my attempt in February is what started the snowball of this terrible year that I've had. Um, and I don't know, maybe next year, you know, it's, we're coming up on my anniversary of that day and look, we're gonna celebrate it. We're gonna celebrate that I'm still alive, that I made it a whole year, that I chose to stay and I am a fighter, and maybe that will set the precedent for next year. You know what I mean? Maybe I just needed to experience a miserable year to maybe be like, hmm, maybe if I do really miserable things to myself, then it creates more misery in my life. So maybe I should celebrate my life and be grateful that I'm alive and just live whatever life I do have left the best that I can. <laughs> That's easier said than done. But you know what I mean. So. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's do our advent calendars and then I'm going to go uh, be with Danny. I really need to be with him tonight. So. Struggling. Struggling a lot. Yes, it will. Chantel, this year has been miserable in general. It has to get it has to get better, right? Right? Yes, absolutely. It will. Do you mind sharing how you tried to do it last time? If not, I understand. No, I can't do that. I'm sorry. It's not appropriate to share techniques or 
details. I don't want to put any ideas of someone out there who's watching, but yeah. Thanks for understanding. Where's Danny? Is he not downstairs? Bubba? Did he leave? Wait. I thought he was downstairs. Hmm. Maybe he has headphones on or something? Let me try calling him. Wait. Bubba? Yeah? You wanna come do Advent real quick so we can go? Fish. No. Yeah. Fish. <clears throat> Email cat. Rewatch the last live and realized one of my comments was kind of rude. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to put anyone with other types of eating stories down. I don't remember what your comment was, cat. What was it? I don't or go bring it up and say something. It's okay. I don't remember you being rude, though. You're having fish tacos and. I don't know about fish all of a sudden. I don't know. I don't know where to get fish. Do you want that? Do you? Not for him. I can eat soup. No, I'll just eat soup. I'm going to keep the soup. You should eat the soup, yeah. I've got a lot of soup. Okay. What's today? Are we two behind? I don't know. Today is the 20th. Which means we should have five left, so. Three, four, five, six, seven. So you get to open two. So, so if you can make it. It's a rock. Boring. This looks like another this white one. urchin. No, we got that one. Oh, uh, maybe it's a maybe it's a bivalve. So I thought we did that one too. See the see the star pattern on there. Mm. White urchin. Yeah, I think it is a white urchin. It is. One white urchin. You can hardly tell, but it's it's on there. The first sea urchins appeared in the fossil record about 450 million years ago. 50 million years ago. And delicate spines are easily crushed. So the skeleton called a test is the most typical fossil found. Do we have bread? Uh, yeah, uh, right there, girls. Those are girls. Oh, well, those are the best girls ever. Yeah. Um, and then you have bread right cool. there, multi grain. It's expired. It's okay. I'll find crackers or something. Cool. Crackers more. Okay, 19? You did 19. Okay. Yeah, give them a while. This is the quartz point. No matter how distorted a quartz crystal may be, the long prism faces always make a perfect 60 degree angle. Amethyst, tiger's eye, and citrine are all types of quartz. That's pretty. That's one. pretty. That's really good one too. I wish we could necklace out of that one. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Six. No, I don't care. It is your stuff. All in six. I'm open six. Ooh, a scrunchie. That's cute. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, That's cute. Me. I like that. I'm going to use, I'm going to wear that. Look how cute that is. Yay, I love scrunchies. Okay, do number seven. Whatever it is, you have to put it on. Hell no. Right, guys? No. Yeah. Whatever it is, you have to put it on. Whatever it is, I have to put it's it on you. It's flawless. No. No. Got it. I think I know what it is. I you can't, have to put it on. I can't get this. Either. Yeah, you're going to have to. It's a round thing. I'm just saying. 
my shadow. I'm gonna put that on. Ooh. That's beautiful. Oh. How did I your lips? Did you it's eyeshadow. Eye? You can't put it on your lips. I do all the okay fine. I'll put it on my There you go. Look how pretty. Yay. It's just like a loose shimmery eye thing. Mm. Alright guys, sorry this was a little shorter, but I need to go. I'm not you have a lot to do. How am I doing on a scale of one to two? Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's one to two, you're a two right now. <laughs> but you got a lot going on. Okay. And you've got things happening and it's the holidays and Alright, well I love you guys and oh, did I ever recast my altar and a popped in? Okay, if you've ever heard of dissociation, yes, DID, yeah. One of my altars wanted to chime in and didn't think it through. Oh, I don't remember what you said, so I usually, I have a bad memory, but I do usually remember if I'm offended, so I don't remember you offending me, but it's fine. Anyway, okay, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow for something and and before I realize that you're beautiful. You're worth it. You are too. Have I shot all my lips now? Yeah. Love you guys.